when I was in third grade, my family moved across the country, middle of the school year, decided they were too busy to homeschool me. So they just threw me in a regular school with no briefing on how society works. <laughs> and then my first week, I'm all nervous. I'm just trying to blend in. The teacher's like, hey, kids, don't forget, Friday's current events. And I'm like, what's that? And she's like, oh, you just you go home, you read a newspaper article, and then you summarize it for the class. So I was a weirdo homeschooler. I, I went home, I read an obituary. <laughs> and then I summarized it for the class. It might be the most disrespectful thing that can happen to a dead person. Uh, because an obituary already is a summary. Pretty much got up there and I was like, Melvin Jones was a plumber. He fixed a lot of showers, he's dead. And then the teacher pulled me aside in private so as not to embarrass me and was like, hey, just so you know, we don't really do obituaries here. Next time, write about something nice, like the space program. And I was like, all right, that makes sense. But because that was in private, she didn't realize that I had inspired another student. <laughs> Just a genuinely disturbed third grader who I guess had seen my presentation and light bulbs went off. And he's like, whoa, who's this new kid? I didn't know he could write about dead, do you guys know he could write about dead people? This changes everything. And the next week, he's so excited to get up. He, he's one, he asked to go first, which nobody ever did. And he's just like, a babysitter killed a baby? And the teacher's like, okay, you're done. Who's next? Somebody's next. And we're all sitting there, third graders, just like, hey, teacher, can you let him finish? We want to know whose babysitter that was. So far, that's been the most relevant current events to our situation. So screw the space program. Somebody better tell us who that murdering babysitter is.